really cool thing about our tracks in, in itself for start is that each track has in it far more content than any other racing game's track. In a regular racing game, when you race track number one, you can play that game for 20 hours, you go back to track number one, it's still the same track you played originally. And in split second, as you go through the game, you can unlock these new power plays. And we also have lots of split routes that are opened by triggering explosions in the environments and destruction. So in that respect, it's a little bit like, say, what you get in a, a platformer or an action game, being encouraged to revisit areas somewhere in the game and finding the new content. As you're going around the lap, different things are happening to you. The designers are introducing different features. Each lap isn't the same, each lap changes. I decided to kind of think a bit more out of the box and think about some environments that could really offer up truly spectacular moments rather than just the average stuff that you see in most games. The dockyards, airports, you know, it's the sort of thing you don't really see in most racing games. What's really cool with the cars is that so you start the game and as you go through it you, you get given these 30 cars, you get awarded them by winning episodes in the TV show. And as you play through the game and you unlock certain achievements, these achievements are actually represented on your car as decals. So when you're racing online, you see some guy and his car's covered in stickers, you know he's an expert and be careful and if it's a slightly you know, emptier car, they're pretty new to the game. It really means that the car itself it actually evolves with you as you play the game. We kind of wanted to steer clear of kind of compact cars and hot hatches. We wanted something that feels big, meaty, that feels like it's, you know, it could handle the kind of destruction that's been thrown at it by the game. On top of that, you know, we also wanted to kind of design them from the ground up as it's a TV show. So essentially the TV company have created these vehicles and they've also designed the vehicles so that they're as spectacular as they possibly can be when they crash or when they get hit by a building or by a ship or other vehicles. We didn't want one car to be miles faster than others. Ultimately, they all need to be competitive. So really, it's more about their handling characteristics rather than their handling abilities. If someone wants to take the car from the start all the way through the game, they can do. And like I say, because the stickers on the car are evolving with you and the bodywork, it'll show that you've invested more time with that car than someone who's just played through to get all the cars individually. It's a real you know, personalized experience.